Eye out for shot 15, Amadou Traore. Welcome to Kampala, Uganda for the Rugby Africa Men's Cup. Of course, this is the most unpredictable game. Intense physical encounter. The pitch has already taken two matches. I'm sure it will hold for this, the third, but that's where the key battles are going to be in the tight eight. Quick start here as Algeria try to power their way past the defense here of Court before Looking to quickly make their mark on the game. Quick securing of the rack in there. This is a good start. And a kick. Looking to gain territory. Can they gain the ball and ground it? Oh, ball just... Uh, and the fly half knowing that he has a free hit at it. Enzo Kafa just goes for that cross kick. But it's not been accurate so far as we've seen in the tournament today. And A minute, 38 seconds on the clock. Haitas, cloud cover taking over. And that only means one thing, the wins of Nambole are back in equal play. I think it might be a thing about me and Ernest. Every time you step into the box and the winds decide to pull a move. <laughs> Holding onto the ball. Solid. The referee there, indicating uh, someone diving in from Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, that double blow is worrying for Cote d'Ivoire, and they are not lucky to get away with it this time. Cote offside playing the man on the quick restart and attempts and the attempt is successful step forward and then drift outwards it's you can call it how you'd peel a banana you peel it down then outwards that's what the back line is doing but clearly Cote d'Ivoire are choosing to play among the forwards so they are going to punch them up even more before now deploying the box getting in Battering ram here, eventually brought to the ground. Kulibali attempting to make a move there. Hand off, and this could be the opening they were looking for. Can he take it all the way? Handing off the ball here to the fullback, and it is try time for Cote d'Ivoire. Beautiful, excellent, top notch. Father, there was the fullback waiting to take the final ball. Look at that, a burst of pace right through the center right there and then algeria knew they had been outsmarted for sure and this is this is what you want your team to do the forwards have done the hard work they started off the scrum down they kept the ball first phase second phase and at that point you think there's going to be no go forward but once the ball went out to the box like i had said they bunched up the defense and then the spaces opened up on the outside beautiful support line from amadou Traore and under the upright seat. Well, he's the one that started them. Ooh, takes too long. What happened there? Looks like he took forever to get uh, his conversion done. So, taking too much time, and uh, you have to give a lot of credit there to Algeria for being tactical, keeping a close eye on the watch, and knowing that the time was done, and the referee there did not secure that ball well enough. And finally, they do. Buttering out in there. As they normally say in the rugby circles, exchanging pleasantries. A kick. Looking to pick on the far end. Can they ground it? Oh, beautiful try. They are celebrating and it will count for a try. So try. And back to the box. That cross kick there. Pinpoint accuracy goes to the man at the wing. And so Zaitri just grounding that and making sure that uh, that will definitely count in the bag but we did talk about the opposite number his namesake enzo crafter and just the intelligence that he had to know that it's it whatsoever the kick comes in looks good and is actually converted algeria adding points on the scoreboard it's 13-5 Many might think it could happen, but it would still qualify as an upset. Yeah, for sure, but Julien Serge is kicking. And close at that 22 meter line. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Excellent handoff and maintains possession. Takes a chance to wave, and it's a try. But how was that?
for retaining grip of the ball. Oantara Mamadou with something truly painting the bin and leading that charge with his fellow forwards. The punch, punch, punch the same point. They get the ball rolling in. It's available, tight pickup in here. Squeezing it back, trying to utilize the blind side. Again, unpredictability, but there look to have been a bump out there. To that 4 p.m. kickoff, the stadium picking up in decibels of sound. And once again, Julian Saji coming out his boot, dispatches well. And, and give her a penalty. Well, the hosts have just made their way into the Mandela National Stadium. Ahead of their game, they'll definitely be getting in for a quick warm-up set there before they take on Zimbabwe. That game kicks off at exactly 4 p.m. and will be right here, available for you. We've ensured that all the bases are covered here in Uganda. In Africa and the rest of the world, if you're not able to make it here at Nambole, you're... ...up and getting the body ready to go, rearing to go. The sin bin. Oh, last I heard, you're supposed to sit it out, but looks like he's uh, pressing it out. It's Algeria, inch closer to the try line. Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, mounting a wall of defense here, and looks like possession might be lost, struggling to retain that. Ultimately picked out, recycled, and could be a chance here for a try. Try it is. I think the Ultimately referees. touched down by Megadon. Not there. Outside and they scored that try. Ultimately just going on. But a couple of uh, seconds earlier than that, that's where that incident uh, seemed to have occurred. In the end, Algeria taking advantage as given unto them. And... Uh, Utilize is the man that steps off the pitch, cannot continue. Algeria choose to go for the kick. Referee's whistle going in the equal instance. Once again, Cote d'Ivoire, a little too enthusiastic for their own good. Deep from behind the halfway line, 55 meters or so. It's going to take something pretty spectacular for him to nail it from that distance. Can he pull it off? Next the kick, Julien. Close, oh. and he nails it! Oh. Chance to dictate play. They'll appeal to the boot of uh, Kaminati. Like Open advantage of against Cote d'Ivoire. No contest there, but he misjudged the flight of the ball. Trying to look for the handoff. Gabriel looking to sprout wings on that flank. Just going to get his way done. And at the end of the day, they have to switch up play right back through the center. Looking to utilize the physical advantage. Alexi Thierry, rare. Beautiful handling of the ball, Alexi Thierry, that he does have. Shot 23. He's a big man with deceptive size. He's secretary at the union. Now he's the president and he's two terms. This is his final term and what a way to mark his tenure by having the Rugby Africa Cup back on African soil. Another of the impossible turn once again. Algeria teased it earlier on and they do it with skill and with style. Alexi Thierry, this is exquisite play. Look at Kaminati. Kaminati is a force to reckon with. A drop goal from, I think, what, 60 meters away in open play? Not sure if that language is allowed, but he's got big harness. 60 meters. Namibia, so it can't get any tougher, it can't get steeper the climb to the top of African rugby for Algeria in this context. Okay, to get back again and trying to race it off. Good handoff, and this time Gabriel Bilhaj will not be denied. Troy time it is for Algeria. And well, rather than if, and they do manage to nail a nutch it in.
quick recycling of the ball, not holding on too long. Faris letting him fly, and a try it is. Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, deflated, depleted, defeated. Sums up their tournament. He kicks interesting. It's like he's a good baller. He kicks with the inside of his foot. Caminati just inside of the foot. Number of rugby players who kick with the top of the foot. Because the ball is pointed straight, so all you have to do is strike it. But Caminati looks to slice Not one of that breed. Yeah. Through, and he's been doing well so far. Wait for the next one, the big one. Or is it the biggest one? Uganda, the host. 28 minutes away from uh, that clash between Uganda and Zimbabwe. It is over. Congratulations, Well, there won't be much more to play out for this. And for Cote d'Ivoire, they have to bow out at this stage as Algeria putting on a pure masterclass. And no questions on who will be the.